When it comes to mapping software, it's like choosing between a sports car and a luxury sedan. Resolume being the sports car, fast, flashy, and packed with power. Mad Mapper, on the other hand, is a luxurious one with elegance, smoothness, refined, and dripping with style. But who says we cannot have the best of both? As per VJ Battle, we will compare these two and see which one is better and why. Also, we're gonna check out how we can combine the power of these two and make the ultimate mapping machine yourself. Hi, my name is Zorayat Sabir Ahmed and let me clarify. This video is about MadMapper and Resolume as a display mapping software. Resolume's Avenue version doesn't support advanced output. So whenever we say Resolume in this video, we mean Resolume Arena only. Now, let's dive in. When it comes to Resolume Arena versus MadMapper as mapping software, LED, large projector, small projector, TV, I'm talking about all displays. So when it comes to display mapping, let's go find out what are the good sides of Resolume Arena and MadMapper. Good sides of Resolume Arena. Resolume is considered as a solid and reliable mapping software by many professionals in the visual art and live performance industries. It has powerful set of features and tools for projection and LED mapping. It has multiple video output, real-time video playback, advanced blend mode, and flexible masking tool. One of the main strengths of Resolume is its ease of use and mouth-watering DJ-like interface. Resolume is super easy to learn and dive in for both beginners and experienced users and allows for quick and efficient mapping of visuals. Resolume is appreciated for its high performance and stability, making it a great choice for performance production. Also, when it comes to audio reactive function, you can do more with Resolume. Resolume has a great platform called Wire, where you can literally make your own effect. Also, they have a great marketplace for third-party plugins where one is crazier than another. So amazing. However, when it comes to mapping, there lives a wise monk deep in the mountain called MadMapper. Best features of MadMapper MadMapper is wisely regarded as one of the best projection mapping software tools available. It is known for advanced mapping capabilities, flexible mapping tools, and efficient workflow. Fun fact, me and my team got back to Windows environment with our full rig right after MadMapper released their Windows support. Key mapping feature for MadMapper includes support for multiple inputs, advanced blending modes, a comprehensive set of masking tools, and a robust set of projection calibration tools. Additionally, MadMapper integrates well into the other software tools, such as Resolume, Vmix, or Watchout, or even controlled by Lighting Desk or Mobile Phone via OSC. One of the key strengths of MadMapper is its robust set of mapping tools which allows for precision control over mapping of videos onto complex and irregular surfaces. Additionally, MadRapper is known for its stability and reliability, making it a popular choice for live production environment. One awesome function of MadRapper has its spatial scanner, where you can scan what the projector is seeing. It's it also has cool support for motion sensors such as lip motion or Kinect controllers. One good recent update of MadMapper is Q function, using which you can pre-plan your cues or scene with all parameters and plan your show like a film, then you control it. MadMapper also has their own hardware line for even pros such as Minimad, a full-fledged mapping playback software right in your thumb. MadMapper is widely regarded as high-quality and versatile mapping tool in many experiential performances and museum installations. Now that we all know what are the good sides of Resolume Arena and MadMapper, let's put them on a versus battle. MadMapper and Resolume both are software used for video LED projection mapping. They are similar in many ways, but there are some key differences between them. Mapping Capabilities MadMapper is specifically designed for video mapping and projection mapping, with a range of tools for mapping and blending videos into surface. Resolume Arena is more focused on live visual and VJing, but it also has mapping capabilities. Live Performances Resolume is designed specifically for live performances, with real-time video mixing, effects, and output capabilities. MadMapper is more suited to pre-designed projects and generate real-time experiences more than performances. Supported video formats In case of Resolume, DXZ codec is highly suggested for the best performance. Other files may play, but you don't want to risk that on a live show. On the other hand, MadMapper can play various file formats including MP4 and QuickTime. Video Output They both have enough output capability and ever-expanding, so it's a draw. 
Price. It's totally subjective on who you are, what you want to do and how much you are willing to pay for that. These two are different softwares, so their prices are different as well. But Matt Pepper has a great subscription model I love. I hope Resolum comes up with the subscription model very soon. Let's put an end to the versus battle here. They're both awesome at what they are. Depends on what you're trying to do. So now that we know which software is better than another, let's put them into co-op mode and be unbeatable. You can combine the strength of both the softwares for an efficient workflow for a live production or a projection mapping show. So here is one of the ways you can use MadMapper and Resolume together. Pre-mapping in MadMapper Use MadMapper to create a detailed map of your projection surface, including the placement of this TV in our case. This allows you to pre-visualize the perfect look for your mapping project before you even start performing live. Live performance in Resolume Use Resolume to perform live in real-time video mixing effects and output capabilities. Output from Resolume you can output your video from Resolume Arena to MadMapper using Siphon or NDI on same machine or two different machines on the same network. Input and mapping from MadMapper. When you are sending the NDI output from Resolume Arena, you can also see the NDI as a source in MadMapper. MadMapper also has multiple output capabilities, letting you to output to different displays, in our case, a TV and a projector. To summarize, the choice between MadMapper and Resolume comes down to personal preferences. Some widgets prefer the position and style of MadMapper, where the other prefer the speed and ease of use in Resolume. With having MadMapper and Resolume together in your workflow, you will have the mapping world in your fingertips. But in the world of projection mapping and live visual, what are you gonna do without visuals? Check out this video next to get some awesome visuals. See you next time.